So I think we're dealing with a serial killer who has a specific preference. Suspect's name is John Dempsey. This Maria Dempsey was married to Peter Hawkins. They had a marriage until one day she was kidnapped. And I'm assuming that made John sick that her husband would just move on like that. Jane must be using these credit card memos to figure out where John Dempsey was selecting his victims. So, um, where do you want to meet? CSI Jane Lacey has been kidnapped. the answers in the question, where is here, psychiatrist's office. We lost an officer in the line of duty, and it's only natural for the co-workers to talk to a therapist. So, that's why I'm here. And also, so you can decide if I'm emotionally fit to go back to work. It started out, I wish I could say like a normal day, but whatever co-workers, Jane Lacey was kidnapped, and we were still dealing with that. We didn't even see this coming. How's the progress on Jane's case going? Uh, we're working on it. Look, Sergeant. Tony. Tony, don't sugarcoat things for me here. Is Jane going to be okay? We won't know for sure. Look, will someone just give me a straight answer here? I will. Um, we believe Jane is still alive. Good game, sweet kids. Thank you. Darren Parker, right? Yep. Alyssa McDowell, I'm also working on Jane's case, and we assure you that we're doing everything we can to find her. Alyssa, we have something. Coming. You hang in there, okay? Well, it's just... What is it? Well, you see, Jane and I had this big fight before we left, and... I forgot to get a chance to apologize. What if I never get the chance to apologize? Don't talk like that. I mean, we're going to find her, and when we find her, we're going to put that drug that took her behind bars. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, just try to keep calm, okay? Okay. <laughs> Are you done providing your shoulder for Darren to cry on? Dispatch, this is Detective Alex Bell, Wildwood Police Department, pursuing suspect John Dempsey. He's heading towards the salvage yard. Mm -hmm. Bad luck. What's one more item? You getting ready to clock out? Do I ever? No. When's the last time you had a decent night's sleep? 1998. I'll see you tomorrow. If you do plan on leaving, it's supposed to thunderstorm. Thanks for the tip. Night. Night, Valerie. Wallet PD. Hello, I'm Gina Donahue, and I'm looking for my son Shane. Oh, hi, Mrs. Donahue. It's Alex Bell. Oh, hello. It's good to hear from you. And from you. Is everything okay? Maybe. I was calling to ask you if my son has come back yet. He hasn't spoken to you? My son has always called me every week since he's been away. And now it's been three weeks and I haven't heard from him, so I'm calling to find out if you heard from him. Well, Miss Donahue, I'm sure everything's okay. Um, Shane has been on sabbatical. You know, he took some vacation to clear his head. It's very normal in this job. You know, Shane has taken vacations before, but I know this time there's something wrong. Well, with all due respect, I'm sure everything is fine. Alex, do you have kids? 
thankfully, no. Mothers have an instinct of, you know, when something is wrong with their sh children. And Alex, you know, I think there's something dangerously wrong. Would it make you feel better if I said I would drop by his apartment? It would, but uh, he, I don't think he's there. He hasn't answered the phone in weeks. Okay, I promise I'll stop over first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Okay, thank you, Alex. All right, no problem. You take care now. Bye. Thanks for getting the phone. Hey, I have very important business. Shut up. Sorry for the wait, Dempsey. I was a little busy. But I know you don't like that. The waiting, time elapsing, your sister out there somewhere. I'll my sister to this. Your sister had a lovely marriage with Peter Hawkins. And then one day, she just didn't come home. The only trace of her left was a threatening message left on the answering machine. Shut up. This is about me. You my sister out of this. How did it make you feel when Peter Hawkins moved on and married another woman? What do you think it made me feel? He was married for her for years. And then three weeks later, he moved on and married someone else. And Peter Hawkins just moved on. And that made you angry. You never forgot, did you? I don't want to talk about this. Fine. Let's not talk about her, then. Let's talk about you right now. Where is she? Where's who? You know who. Jane Lacey. You kidnapped one of my colleagues, and I want to know where she is. You don't find any. I don't find any of them. Oh, that's where you're wrong. We found every one of your last victims except for Jane Lacey. You waiting for the pain to kill her? But of course, you won't be around to see that. You're not around in any of these crimes. You wanted to seem like a third party, like you're not even the criminal and you're just an innocent observer. But the truth of the matter is you are the criminal and you are behind this. And you'd think if Peter can move on and find another wife, why can't every other husband move on and get a new wife just like good old Peter? If Peter could move on, then every other husband should move on. Oh, really? Mr. Sloan, Ali Sloan's husband. His wife has been dead for four years. We just told him the news. We found him early this morning in his house, lying in his bathtub, dead. He shot himself. I guess he didn't move on, he took his own life. Then there's Lewis, Hannah Phelps' husband. True, she survived her attack, but currently she's in the hospital suffering from mental delusions caused by Stockholm Syndrome. She doesn't even love her husband anymore, but he still sits by her side all day long. He's not moving on. And as for Darren Park, Jay Lacey's current boyfriend, do you know where he is right now? He's not out getting married to some other woman. He's sitting at their house by the phone, waiting for that phone call to tell him that Jane is safe and coming home to him. Now, I want to make that call, and I think that you want to help me make that call. So I think it's time to end this and find Maria, with you telling me where Jane Lacey is. Hey, hey, Grace. Where is she? Where is she, Dempsey? Tell me where she is. I'm the solid Which one? Which one? On her own. On her own. All right, thank you. Call uh, Maddie and her on the phone. Tell them to head to the salvager and Jane is in there. Eventually found Jane in the trunk of an beat-up old Chevy somewhere in John Dempsey's salvage yard. She's 
luckily she was able 